Chief Meteorologist Josh Kozar joins us now to explain why this storm remains potentially dangerous. Josh. Well, Jacqueline, it all comes with the slow progression of it over already saturated landscape. So I want to do a bit of a science experiment to kind of explain why this is going to be so dangerous for the state of Louisiana. So this sponge is going to represent the already wet landscape of Louisiana, thanks to Hurricane Ida. But as we add the rainfall from Nicholas, in that already saturated landscape, you can see that it has no place to go. So it's definitely going to continue to see flooding conditions here over the next several days because the rain is not going anywhere anytime soon. Here's a look at some of the estimated rainfall totals, anywhere from 10 to 13 inches. Folks, that's over a foot of additional rain over an area that just saw heavy downpours from Ida two weeks ago and stretching all the way to the panhandle of the state of Florida, nine to 11 inches, and we continue to see that heavy rain falling right now over much of the southeast. As we go ahead and zoom in, we do have a flash flood warning that's going to last until 9 o'clock tonight for the Lake Charles area again in the state of Louisiana. As for Nicholas, it's definitely downgrade to a tropical depression this evening. That's where winds have fallen to about 35 miles per hour. But as we put our forecast into motion, you can see it really kind of sits on top of itself, and that just means additional rainfall through the end of the week for much of the southeast. Now, not only are those folks seeing the increased chance of rain, but even those of us here in Western Oregon getting in on some moisture. We'll discuss that in my full forecast.